Hey everybody, Josh with Cripple Concepts here. Just uh, doing a quick review. Um, after my last charger review, uh, the company called Chill Care, I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, out of Canada contacted me and asked if I'd do a quick review on their chargers too. Uh, a little awkward to be uh, you know, provided a product for free from a competitor to review, but um, I believe there's a, a need for a lot of these different chargers on the market, as I said in the last video. Different people have different needs. So uh, without further uh, delay, let me just get right to it. So they sent me their original charger, which until just recently was, I believe, the only charger they were selling. Now they just back up to touch. Chillcare has intentions on building a couple of wheelchairs um, that look a lot different than uh, current wheelchairs. Um, so I, I applaud them for, for the effort. Um, that's can't imagine the, the hurdles they're jumping through to get that all approved. Um, I don't know if it's a little easier in Canada to start there or, or what, but um, yeah, they're, they're trying that, but they're also doing some accessories, including chargers. So here's the first one. Um, this is their original. This has been around for a couple years. They have them on Amazon. Um, it's got like a, I forget, I think it's a one meter cable. Um, this one's covered in like a, a woven cloth uh, loom. It's actually kind of nice. You can see the red and black wires inside of there. Um, but I actually kind of like this cloth loom. Uh, yeah, it's fairly long and they, they come in a couple different lengths. Uh, so anyway, it's got a one amp. What it says on here, what silk screen on here is five volt, one amp and five volt, 2.1 amp. Um, so here's the test results that, that I got. Um, it only shows that it's good for the Apple 2.1 standard. So I took my uh, little test device and I cranked three and a half amps out of both ports on here and it didn't quit it it kept right on a chugging which on one hand is really good that means that it can do five volts three and a half amps on the other hand if you don't have a smart device on the other end you could potentially have a problem with over uh overpowering it because you're putting too much amperage in uh most smartphones in that they're they're not going to have a problem uh but if you're trying to like charge like one of the portable battery packs or run a fan or a, a, a usb heating pad or a, a usb light or something off this that could have problems with that three and a half amp um, and, and I say three and a half amps, that's all the, char all the higher my test device goes is um, like it's actually 3.45 amps is what it goes to. And it just kept going, like it, it, it didn't stop. And I let it run for about five, 10 minutes and it, it kept charging. So, or kept pumping out that much power. So um, yeah, one hand is built real robust. Um, now these things are a little different than the other ones in the market. You see this clamp with a little wing nut. These are made to mount on your chair somewhere. Mount to an armrest, footrest, frame your chair, wherever. Uh, but then on the other end, you still have the standard XLR plug. Um, for a long time, they only made the straight plug. It does look like they now make a 90 degree option like we do for our turbochargers. Uh, but I believe they're only clocked in one direction, which works for the majority of the chairs. The majority of the ones I sell all are in the same position. Uh, once in a while, there's a chair that they've mounted the charge port funny. So a uh, good basic charger. Um, this one's pretty basic. This one would be comparable to our little standard chargers. Um, you know, yeah, two and a half or, or two amps, two and a half amps all day long at five volts, uh, which is what most cell phones actually charge at. Right before they sent it, they said, hey, we got another one coming out. Do you, you can you test that one too? So I said, of course, um, I, I wanna, wanna see what you got. So everything is the same. The housing is exactly the same. Now this one has a rubber heat shrink on it, um, a lot like our turbochargers do. Now this is one thing that I hate. Can you see the writing on the wire there? Or it, it's on the heat shrink. It's hard to get a heat shrink that doesn't have writing on it. Um, it's just kind of, it, it, it's a visual thing, it annoys me. Uh, but this guy, it lights up. Um, when you plug it in, then so there's a little LED bulb. The end actually lights up blue. There's like a ring there. And this one's got one port that's five volts, 2.4 amps, which is actually what our little uh, chargers are, are rated for. And then a quick charge 3.0 port, um, which is also what our, our uh, turbo chargers are meant to do. Um, so here's the test results on this one. You can see it does everything our turbo charger does. Plus there's a Samsung protocol at nine volts. Um, now I've never ran into a phone that actually used that Samsung protocol, but there must be some out there, otherwise the protocol wouldn't exist. Um, and the Chill Care one here, it, it does that protocol. So if you happen to have that Samsung 9-volt 
charge protocol on your device, this would probably be a better one for you. Um, now, interestingly enough, when I put my um, tester on where I can control the amperage, when I cranked it up at two and a half amps, both of these ports kick out at two and a half amps which is what my chargers do, which is what the, the USB charger um, that the guy named Tor made that was in my last video um, uh, over in Norway. Um, so, so it's interesting that this does have a thermal overload circuit in it and it won't put out more than two and a half amps, um, which is probably a good safety feature. Um, I think they only charge five bucks more for this one on Amazon. So quite honestly, if you're buying one of the two, I, I'd buy the new one that does the, the QC 3.0 um, just because it does have that feature in it too. So even if you don't need that, that quick charge uh, function, um, that'd be better. Um, so, so I mean, overall, these, these are a, a good charger. I mean, quite honestly, they're, they're a good charger. The, the housing's a little bit large. Um, it's, you know, couple inches diameter probably. Uh, it would stick out a little bit, but if you had a good convenient spot to mount this on your chair, I could probably mount it on my armrest or something. Now you still have to have the plug. Um, you still have to wire this, you know, plug this in and out every day because um, it plugs in the same port that you charge the chair in. So you do still have that. But I mean, overall, well made. Um, they, if they're getting these custom made, they've got some money into the injection molding and stuff. I suspect Back, this housing is used for other things um, because it's it's a really well made injection molded housing. Um, so yeah, I I can't knock the product. Um, you know, of course, still encouraged by mine, but um, yeah, I I think that for the people that want to keep a charger mounted on their chair all the time, um, these these look like they're pretty good. Um, you know, no idea on longevity of charging and stuff, but I I suspect you know they they last so. Um, yeah, that's the Chill Care Chargers. Um, I'm going to get back to doing videos on some more of the Crippa Concept stuff. i um, got some new stuff in the pipeline, hopefully in time for the holidays. But I uh, wanted to get this video out. They've sent me those uh, probably a month ago and just been busy keeping up with, with life and with business. So um, there's the review. Um, definitely comment below. Shoot me an email if you have any questions. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below for, for the company, Chill Care, that sent me those and you can go check out their website and uh, yeah, if it fits your needs, definitely check them out. Thanks a lot. Hey, for all you still watching, uh, you may notice I'm back in a different shirt. Uh, didn't really want to reshoot the video because everything I said was absolutely accurate. However, something bothered me that I mentioned at the end of the video, how I thought they were sourcing these from somebody else because they were a little too polished for the, the market they're in. And, and I don't say that negatively. I, I think that Chill Care is also a pretty small company. Um, I, I'm pretty open about it. My circuit boards come out of China. Um, I link them on my website if you wanna build your own. I, I'll help you with the process. I'll tell you what you need to know. Um, I'm, I believe in the open source thing. I think that's gonna move mobility forward in the future. So if you're a DIY type, and, I, and I'm saying this is a DIY type. I'm not saying this, I want you to go steal Chill Care's market. They source these, they built these, they sell these, and they deserve to make a profit for that. But if you're a DIY type, for about $30, follow the links below, I found uh, between Amazon and AliExpress, you can build yourself one of the new ones that does the quick charge uh, 3.0 stuff. And for about $15, you can build yourself one of the originals that does uh, the 2.1 amp um, although, as I mentioned, these I'm a little worried because these don't actually stop at 2.1. They'll go over 3.5. I don't know how high they'll go. My tester didn't go high enough. Uh, but you can buy them, solder on your own connectors. Now, you're going to need to be able to solder. Um, one thing that I am surprised by is these, when they sell them on AliExpress and on, uh, on uh, Amazon and other sites, they all include a 10 amp fuse. And uh, Chill Care's removed that. They don't put that in their wiring harness. I put a fast blow inside of mine. If it blows the charger's garbage, but at least sh protects the chair side electronics. And, and I don't know, there may be some circuitry inside of these that are well sealed unit. That's also an indicator that let me know that they're buying these from somebody. Um, that yeah, I couldn't get in and see the circuit board. So I knew they're buying it from somebody, um, but they don't, they don't have a, a inline fuse that I can find anywhere in here unless it's on the circuit board that's sealed inside. I'd recommend leaving that 10 amp fuse in there just as a, 
safety precaution to make sure you don't accidentally blow it. Um, and again, I'm not I'm not trying to steal business from Shield Care. I'm not inviting any of you to go out and start your own business, knocking these off and selling them for ten dollars less on Amazon than Shield Care does. Um, that they 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 found these, they sourced them, they they deserve to make a profit for that. But if you're a DIY type and you want to save a few bucks, fifteen dollars for the original, about thirty bucks for the uh, the the new uh, Quick Charge 3.0. And if anybody finds the complete Quick Charge 3.0 one with the bracket, um, I didn't really exhaust my search on the internet, but I didn't find one on Amazon, didn't find one on AliExpress. Um, so, so there may be a company out there selling the complete ready to go, you just solder on the XLR connector and you're set. Um, if you find one of those, put the link below, hit me up. Uh, make it easy for people to be able to to DIY this if they want to. And uh, apologies to Chill Care if that upsets you, but uh, sorry, I, I believe in open source, I believe in transparency, and I believe in saving people a buck when I can. Um, so, so there you go. Um, yeah, if, you, if you're looking for a charger to mount on your chair, the Chill Cares will do it. If you want to build one yourself, you can do it for less. Um, if you want one of ours, buy one of ours. Um, if, if you want one of the other ones I reviewed, buy one of those, by all means. Um, different, different, uh, different chargers will suit different needs. I, I Think they all have their pros and their cons. Um, I I built what I like, and that might not be what you like. Uh, that might not be what somebody else likes. And so um, yeah, yeah, you got your you got your options out there. But I uh, appreciate you watching. Appreciate you hanging out for uh, part two of that video. Uh, so stay tuned. I'm gonna hopefully get some more videos on some of the other stuff in the shop going soon. Thanks a lot.